Shining the spotlight on the communities we love. It's time for the KMCH Hometown Tour. This year, we begin our hometown tours by traveling to the far northern edge of the KMCH listening area. Home to 1,200 people, al sits tucked away in a beautiful valley alongside the Turkey River in Clayton County. Approaching al from any direction is a scenic drive with wooded hills, rich Iowa farmland, and river valleys and bluffs in Iowa's little Switzerland region. Well, it's just such a charming community when you drive in, and it's just so beautiful. The natural beauty behind of the bluffs, behind the buildings, and in the buildings themselves of a historic nature. So you just feel a quaint little town when you drive through. Besides that, we have so many volunteers that work with so many different organizations to make things happen that it's just really, it's just inspiring to work with the volunteers. You know, if there's some project or we've been impacted by floods, Mm -hmm. you know, volunteers are always there to help make sure things get done. That's Jennifer Kausert, who has served as al Qaeda's city administrator for the past 19 years. She says last summer and into the fall, the city was busy working on a huge undertaking they've been planning for the past five years, the historic Keystone Bridge Project, with the goal to repair and restore this local treasure. But that really had an impact on people and businesses and trying to get around and find where they needed to go. So we worked with that project a lot and tried to you know, add additional signs and work with business on ideas how to make sure that they weren't impacted by the new Mm -hmm. traffic route. The other challenge is paying for it. The reason it's taken so long is because there was a problem encountered during construction, and so then that cost more money for us, and so we've been trying to figure out how to pay for that extra amount also. We hope that the project gets done this year. It'll be a big milestone <laughs> if we can kind of, you know, return to normal. Residents and drivers will be happy to have the Keystone Bridge back open as a lot of daily traffic comes through al which serves as the county seat. Whether you're passing through, day tripping, or planning overnight stays, al Chamber Coordinator Ann Gibney says you'll find lots of sightseeing, shopping, dining, recreational, and entertainment opportunities in al Well, we see a lot of summer and fall activity because of where our location is, of course. You know, we have camping, fishing, biking, hiking, kayaking, canoeing, golfing, hunting, leaf looking. There's opportunities to visit our museums and art galleries and shops. So, you know, there's really a lot going on. No matter when you come to Elkater, you can always find something to do. Of course, Elkater Sweet Corn Days is always popular. Everybody likes to get some free sweet corn to eat. Uh, Art in the Park is an event that draws lots of artists in the area, so people really enjoy that weekend. Main Street El Cater Concert Series is going to really showcase our light up the night with our new lights over Main Street. And there's the Red Horse Fishery, Osborne Heritage Days, and of course the El Cater Opera House always provides entertainment. And our local establishments also provide live music. Gibney says El Cater has a good mix of big and small businesses and customer service that people really enjoy. I hear that often walking on the street. Oh, this is such a friendly town. And we offer events for friends and families to gather, like events like Ladies' Day Out and Witches' Night Out, Warlock's Welcome Too. We always like those men folk to come along. We have a supportive business environment. If people are looking to expand or start a business, there's support from mentors to help with that process. Gibney, who grew up in Elkater, says she loves the community because of the people. Everyone is always willing to go the extra mile to make sure that I have whatever I'm looking for. And the people in El Cater really care about me. And they're not just looking at another person waiting in the line to check out. They truly care that you're there to support their businesses. And there's plenty more to share about El Cater this week. Tune in on Wednesday as Eric Walker visits with David Beck about the history of the Keystone Bridge. And Justin Roberts will wrap up our hometown tour on Friday with a story about El Cater Sweet Corn Days. With your hometown tour of El Cater today, I'm Janelle Tucker.